What is going on you guys? It is your boy MC here and I am back with Squid Game episode 5. Obviously the last episode left off on a cliffhanger so it looks like we are going to see the rest of the tug of war game in this episode. I'm kind of pissed that they left off on a cliffhanger but obviously that's what this show will I guess do. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to continue on with this game and hopefully we'll end this episode. Um, we haven't hit the emotional stuff yet. Hopefully it will come in the next couple episodes. Got my smoothie right here. I am ready for the rest to finish. I should be finishing this series up this week. So hopefully I can get this done. Uh, I did buy a second monitor uh, for my PC. Uh, I think it was about a couple days ago. So I'm hopefully wanting to do live streams coming up. Obviously, I have some plans in the future, hopefully, that involve live streaming, so I'll get those out to you guys when I get the chance or when I kind of develop the concept for those. So I get my monitor sometime this week, so I'm very, very excited, but yeah, very, very excited to continue on with Squid Game, and I'm halfway through this show, so without further ado, let's get straight into this, and yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys like my reaction, like, subscribe, comment down below, and if you guys want to get notified on when we release those videos, definitely smash that notification bell, and with that being said, Let's get right in the episode. He's right. Holy crap, he got, oh my god, he's leaning off. His heart just sank into his stomach right there. Guy, you see the guy in the back, he's all, oh my god. Oh, it's pulling them with them. They gotta cut. There you go. To almost both of them down with him. I love how he's always smiling, man. I love it. I love him so much in this show. He is my favorite character. Ugh, damn, fuck calluses. Yeah, those are way worse. Thank them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Playing hard to get. <laughs> they back. They're like these motherfuckers. Oh, now that's crazy. Power washing blood. That's nuts. So now, thank you to whoever sent that message down into the comments telling me what the three different people do and their jobs. Thank you very, very much. Interesting. Get the go get the doctor. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh my god. Ma Matrix. <laughs> Oh no. Oh hell no. You said that was bullshit. Han Minio. I chose to leave the team. Oh shit. Are we gonna get the same thing from last time? <laughs> the Lord's servant is the vicious one here. It's not bad. We better hurry up for 30 minutes. Kill the supposed leader or kill the strong. Yeah, kill the strongest one. I wonder if they're going to understand what's going on, maybe a little bit. So I don't know if everybody is in on this or if some soldiers are in on it. Yeah. There you go. Hell yeah, Ali. Even though he didn't want anything in return, he's still offering it. I like that, Ali. May I do that? Mm. He's another person I don't want to die. This looks very, very, very top secret. That's somebody else. <laughs> Saying <Sengu. laughs> Uh no. What the hell? Uh... Alright, I can't do it. So, okay. So, 
That's what they're doing. Okay. They're selling shit on the black market. Oh! Smoke bomb. Must be a flashback? That must be a real inter that if this is a flashback, which I assume it is, it's very interesting how they did it. Yeah, he had a vision. Damn. Okay. It was either a nightmare or a vision. Cut ties. Budget cuts. Like, ah, oh, thanks, you. Thanks. What was that? Oh, fuck, a crowbar. <laughs> So they get all the body parts and everything, put them in a book bag, and then they swim to wherever. They swim back. So that's what's going on here. Why didn't I see it coming? Do something for the bad guys and you think it will hold up their end of the bargain. No, they won't. Oh, secret passageway. A little hidden tunnel. He is scared shitless. Now! Knew it! Uh oh. Oh! Crowbar! Oh!
Damn, he's fighting these two all on his own. He's trying to get the hell out of there. So the VIP is going to escape an emergency? Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, that must be a maze. But then again, they could just follow his blood trail. Oh shit, he's back in the fucking playroom. Let me see your face. <laughs> I love it. Get rid of the body. Just waiting for somebody to shoot somebody. Yep. I knew it. Oh! Oh, damn. They came silent as hell in there. I was wondering when they were going to show up. What? Did I just hear that right? Can't trust anybody, man. person makes a lot of sense, man. I mean, it's their whole morale for this thing. Damn. It was gonna happen eventually. Damn, a lot of people. Basically, the whole, the whole operation just got capped. But now they're, they're gonna be searching, I guarantee you. Oh, shit. I 
I knew they were going to hear that. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that woke them up. Yeah, they have absolutely no idea what the hell is going on. Oh, I, I feel bad for him. Those like documents or list of players. Nineteen ninety nine. Holy shit! It's. A I wonder how far this goes back, 2007. Damn, this is crazy. This is cool. Yeah, they're pro they probably gotta, they, they probably gotta think he's in there, maybe. Damn it, don't. Uh, he pissed himself. Damn, that's like ranging from all the way fucking 89. Found him. Nice. Uh, overall, hmm, pretty, pretty solid episode. Um, I would say this episode is, or was a character building, uh, kind of episode, but it really wasn't focusing on games for this episode. It was actually focusing more on his brother. It was really cool to see what the actual organization was that was going on. Really crazy that all of them got capped and they kind of ended like that. I thought they were honestly going to continue it, um, in like, the next couple episodes or whatever, or I thought it was going to factor into the next game or whatever, but no, they pretty shut that shit down quick, but yeah, pretty solid episode. And yeah, the next couple episodes are going to get pretty emotional. I've heard from some people, like I said, for those that have been with this channel for a while, I'm really not, I, I, I really am not an emotional kind of person. Uh, I think the only time where a show is really got me emotional on camera was during the Hasaikai arc in My Hero Academia. Still, that is one of my favorite arcs in that show. That was probably the most emotional that I got probably in this entire time of doing reactions for a show. But who knows? Maybe Squid Game will get to me and let's let's honestly see what happens. But obviously, you guys know what happened. You guys are just waiting for those certain episodes to come out. But they will be out this week. So hopefully, I will be finishing this series this week and... I already have another show lined up that you guys probably know or don't know. Who knows? But speaking of which, uh, Demon Slayer Season 2, uh, a poll has been out for the last two weeks. And I've kind of decided that I will wait till the beginning of December, till the Entertainment District arc to start Season 2 of Demon Slayer. Basically, I mean, the Mugen Train arc, I've already seen the movie. So, I mean, it would be cool to see more of Rengoku and... Just it's just kind of the same stuff that I've seen. I'm really excited to see more of the group and the Entertainment District arc and just what else is going to be shown in there. Obviously, we have My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission coming out in the U.S. this Friday. Me, Schmitz, and his cousin will be going to see it sub and dubbed on Friday. So I will maybe do a live stream uh, on Friday sometime, possibly before the movie, giving my expectations and my predictions going into the movie. And maybe I will do something... Uh, maybe a, like a little post a little story after but I will be making a video about World Heroes Mission and my thoughts and review of the film but overall hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and if you guys were excited for the rest of the Squid Game series and you guys like our channel like subscribe comment down below and as always my name is Omzi and I am out